The way that people can do this, uh, you know, I'll share the quick and easy way, is start getting experience in public speaking. I am not bashful in recommending Toastmasters. I have not been in Toastmasters for a long time, but I have been in, I think, four or five different clubs on and off over 20 years. And I go in and sometimes people are like, well, why are you here? Like, you already know how to do all this stuff. Because you can always get better. You yep. can always practice. You can always try new things in a safe, protected environment rather than going in front of a client in a high stakes situation and embarrassing yourself for doing something mm -hmm. incorrectly. So getting practice, putting the reps in, becoming aware of what's working and what's not. Um, I'm in the National Speakers Association. I'm surrounded by the best of the best speakers. I watch them on YouTube. I say, why is this person so good and so successful? And what is it about that person that I just, you know, it just doesn't resonate with me. And then within the workplace, rather than, you know, focus just on public speaking, find mentors, find people who you admire and ask yourself what it is that you like about them. Why do you admire them? What is it not just about their intelligence, because that might just be a little sliver of it. What is it about their demeanor, their emotional intelligence, uh, the way that they talk to you, the way that they lead and empower their team? So be aware of where you want to go, where you currently are, what you think is missing, and build some momentum of, of growing and learning. You never get to the finish line. And I think that that's what a lot of people don't realize is you don't go from being a novice communicator to being an expert communicator just by wishing it and just by practicing. You get better, you get better, you get better. And for the next 20, 30, 40, 50 plus years of your life, you will never get to the finish line, but you will always improve.